Let's see. Bible negatively influenced, so we manifest for them. Ah, man, I just don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, that's. The Bible's a book of good and evil. And it's really up to you, up, up to you to find it. From the very beginning, before Adam and Eve even sinned, in the garden was a tree of knowledge of good and evil. The existence of that shows right then and there that the whole conflict, the whole moral conflict over the existence of man antedates the problem of man's existence. Meaning we are guiltless from the beginning. And as I say all the time, the reason I'm so lackadaisical about redemption and resurrection and all these heavy concepts that, that a lot of people bought, buy into is because I truly believe, as you are looking in my eyes right now, let me show you my eyes, I truly believe that the war has already been won and we're going through the motions and that everything that's going on in geopolitics today is nothing but the losers trying to find the best exit strategy they can because they're in trouble. They have a very short time left. The apocalypse is a two-edged sword. For those of us who know, it's going to be a fantastic unveiling. And for those who haven't been living right, their ass is in trouble. Simple as that. All this literature trying to get, get the masses to believe that the apocalypse was designed for them, it was not. It was not. 